In this video, we will solve an interesting question that was asked in UGC Net Economics paper of August 2024. The question is, if the demand function is Q is equal to 20 upon P, where Q is the output, P is the price, when price is less or equal to 10 and marginal cost is equal to 1, we have to find out the profit maximizing level of price and output. Options I don't remember, but I will try to solve this question, this question here, okay? So, what we are being given here, we are being given the demand function and let me write it here, Q is equal to 20 upon P, this is our demand function. Now, if I transpose this P, it gets multiplied, so P into Q is equal to 20, we know that price into output is total revenue, can I write total revenue is equal to 20 and we also know that profit maximizing condition profit maximization condition requires that we equate the marginal revenue with the marginal cost. Marginal revenue is being, marginal revenue, let us try to find out, marginal cost is being given us here, uh, that is 1, okay. So, to find out the marginal revenue, we differentiate the total revenue with respect to output, that is, our marginal revenue will be the derivative of the total revenue function with respect to output, which is Q. So, this is our total revenue, its derivative with respect to Q. Since we have no Q here, it is a constant here. So, the derivative of total revenue function with respect to output gives us marginal revenue, which will be equal to 0. Okay, derivative of 20 is 0 here. Now, using the profit maximizing condition that marginal revenue is equal to marginal cost, that implies our 0 should be equal to marginal cost is being given 1, but it is not possible here. That means this method of applying marginal revenue with marginal cost is not feasible here. It will not give us the profit maximizing uh, what we call price and output. Okay. Now, what here we actually need to do? Let us find out. So, Q is equal to 20 upon P. So, Q is equal to 20 upon P. Rewriting this, that means P into Q is equal to 20. What does this function tell us? P into Q denotes the total revenue. Here we have a constant total revenue function because P into Q is equal to 20. So, we have a constant revenue function. Whenever we have a constant revenue function and in this case, what will be the profit maximizing price and output? That is simply with when we are being given the constant uh, total revenue function, firm will charge and uh, let me write it here, firm will charge highest possible price, that means firm will charge, firm will charge, firm will charge highest possible, highest possible price, highest possible price. Uh, with lowest possible output produced, okay, firm will ch uh, charge highest possible uh, price and produce lowest, lowest possible output. Let us see what will happen here. So, we know that P into Q is equal to 20. Now, what is the highest possible price that the firm can charge? We are being told here price should be less or equal to 10. So, price cannot be 11 here because of this constraint. So, the highest possible charge that the firm can charge in this case will be equal to 10. So, if here we have 10, so 10 into in place of Q, what will be the value of Q? So, that 10 into some variable gives us an output of 20. So, what will be in this box 10 into, since price is 10, what will be the output? So, the total revenue is equal to 20, you can, you know by trial and error it is very simple 10 into uh, 10 into 2 gives us 20 okay so let me write it here so 10 into 2 will give us 20 that means the highest possible price and i will explain this with an example how it happens so price profit maximizing price will be equal to 10 that the firm should charge and profit maximizing output should be equal to 2 here okay now let me explain it with an example why this is case why 
this 10 gives us highest possible uh, you know uh, why this uh, p is equal to 10 and q is equal to 2 gives us the highest profit let us do some simple uh, example we know that profit is equal to total revenue minus total cost okay total revenue as you know is simply equal to price into output minus what is the total cost that is the integral of the marginal cost function with respect to output here we assume marginal uh, sorry fixed cost is equal to zero and let me uh, explain it here so our profit will be equal to p into q minus derivative of marginal cost is one so let's write it here one this time there we, uh, the integral of one is q here so we'll get we will get q plus the constant of integration here and we assume the fixed cost is equal to zero we will not write the constant of integration so this is our profit function now let's take this price which we calculated as 10 and output as 2 and let us find out the corresponding profit what will be the profit Pro and let me write it here when p price is equal to 10 and output producer is 2 profit will be equal to so profit will be equal to 10 p is 10 output is 2 minus q is 2 which is total cost so 10 to the 20 here we have to make as a single the age so profit is equal to 18 here you can check it by yourself now let us take any other price other than 10 let us take p is equal to when let us take uh, an example when p is equal to 5 if p is equal to 5 in this equation since p into q is equal to 20 if we take p is equal to 5 what should be value of q so the total revenue is equal to uh, 20 so q should be equal to 4 okay when p is equal to 5 q is equal to 4 let us find out the corresponding profit so profit will be equal to price into output that means 5 into 4 5 into 4 minus q is equal to 4 so it is 20 minus 4 which comes out to be 16 okay here you can see profit has decreased when we charged uh, less price than 10 okay so the logic is pretty simple here if you can see is, uh, see this example it is actually a rectangular hyperbola demand function okay so another important property of this function is that we have the unitary elastic demand function that means elasticity of demand will be unity irrespective whatever is the price or corresponding output so for this demand function price elasticity of demand will be one at any point on the curve because we have a rectangular demand function here right uh, what we call the rectangular hyperbolic demand function okay so uh, i hope i make myself clear but i have found some you know youtube channels trying to copy these uh, these very videos uh, into their PDFs, they take the screenshot of these uh, videos. Okay, that uh, really discourage me to make more videos. You know, because I am doing all this stuff for free. And if some YouTube channel or uh, I will not take the name of that very YouTube uh, uh, YouTube uh, owner, which has taken the screenshots from these videos and made an PDF for the numericals. So, but I hope you people can recognize that very uh, that very person because someone has inboxed me about uh, the videos that i post and how they are being manipulated they are being used for commercial purposes so i will request those very uh, you know uh, people not to use my content for their commercial purposes okay i hope i make myself clear in this video and you find out this video helpful thank you